Alright, what's up guys? Uh, this is going to be your second tutorial and we're basically going to set up a project and I'm just going to kind of walk you through um, the layout of Eclipse and uh, what you need to know for uh, developing apps what we're going to get into. Uh, the first thing we want to do is open up this project uh, explorer. It should be there already but if not just go to uh, window um, show view and then project explorer right here and you can right click on it or you can go to like file new project um, and you might have an Android project right here if not uh, just click project and under the Android folder we're gonna click Android project hit next uh, this project name is what um, what your project name is gonna be basically I'm gonna call it the basics um, this is just what it's gonna be uh, like your folder uh, on your computer um, and then what we need to do is uh, we're going to create a new project in the workspace and these are the platforms that we installed in the last tutorial uh, you guys probably will have more if you installed more of them I just installed those two so I'm going to pick the platform 2.2 uh, um, as you see it's API level of 8 again I kind of explained that last time but um, you just think of the, the higher the level um, the more advanced programming you can get away with pretty much and uh, the application name this is what's going to be on your actual device uh, under your logo this is what people are going to see so we're going to call it uh, the basic series and the project name you want this to be unique because when you register your app for the marketplace uh, this needs to be unique. This is what is basically going to register uh, your app with the marketplace. And a lot of people just go um, like their website backwards or uh, whatever you want to do. Just put like com dot your name dot uh, the basics, and hopefully that's not on the marketplace already. Um, so, uh, but you do want that to be unique. You can change it later, but it's going to be a huge hassle. So you just want to make sure this is very unique right when you start just so you don't have to go back and make all those um, tedious changes later um, and then when you create the activity um, this is going to be what your kind of like your main activity is for Java um, this is what it's gonna set up to open this activity first um, and that might be a little bit confusing but we're just gonna call it uh, we're gonna call it main for right now um, and you'll see why in a little bit but uh, this last thing all you need to do is put whatever API level you're working on or you can even leave it blank um, but I'm just gonna put 8 hit finish and it's gonna create our Android project right here uh, it's saying I get an error but it should go away as it builds um, and then basically I'm just gonna quickly talk you through um, what these are and then kind of um, well anyways let's just get to it uh, here's our project name that we uh, specified earlier under the source folder you have your package name and this is where all the Java magic happens here's our main Java that's what we established earlier if you open that up this might look like a foreign language to you if you know Java it won't but uh, this is where like I said the magic happens and this is where we're going to get into a lot of in-depth programming but as for now we're just going to talk about uh, some of these other things under the general folder again you have your uh, package name and here's your R Java you won't have to worry about this because it uh, as you can see here it generates itself um, and basically this is gonna uh, keep track of all your resources and all your variables and such um, a lot of times people have problems where this is deleted and if that happens I'm just gonna quickly tell you to look at your imports because um, because if, when, once you're programming it shouldn't be deleted now but um, the, what you want to do is check your resources and uh, check your imports if it has android.r as an import you want to delete that and then also if any of your resources have a capital letter in it uh, you want to rename your resource but we'll get to what resources are in a second. Um, under the Android 2.2, here's the Android jar. 
And these are all the classes that we can use methods from and access uh, for our programming. So basically, all these classes have these sweet uh, methods that you can use, and we're going to need to use them. So uh, yeah, as you can see, there's a ton of different classes, and we'll get get to using those quickly. But as you can see already, this one imports like Android app dot activity. So as you can see, there's probably like a Android app right here and then an activity class. So that's basically what's going on. Um, and then in the assets folder, you can, there's two different schools of thought. Uh, basically, you can keep all your resources in your assets folder and then use them later. Uh, but I like to use the, the resources just because it's simple. It's easy for you guys to understand. Basically, in your resources folder, uh, this is where we're going to keep um, in the drawable, this is where we're going to keep all our images, our icons, pretty much anything graphical we want to use is located in our drawable. And this will take like PNG, um, GFI, or GIF, I'm sorry, and uh, just some, I'll, I'll give you guys a more detailed explanation of what type of files this takes later. Um, but also um, this layout right here this is where we're gonna work with the XML it kinda shows you um, the graphical lay layout or the the graphical user interface um, and it's pretty simple language uh, you guys will be able to pick up on this pretty quickly if you have no like uh, XML programming background it's not gonna be a problem because it's pretty simple and we're gonna get into that in a little bit um, the other thing we want to we have is our uh, our values and this is where you can keep strings or like dimensions or uh, just something you want to pull later like your main title um, you can just change it in strings and then it'll change it throughout your uh, whole activity or whatnot um, Android manifest this is this is kind of the use the friendly version of it but you can go down over here where it says Android manifest XML and here is just basically um, this is gonna hold all of the different activities you're gonna use uh, this is gonna hold uh, what permissions you need like if your app needs to access the internet or um, save something to the SD card it's gonna ask for a permission of the user uh, when they download the app and uh, this is where you would you would put those permissions in otherwise you won't be able to use those functions. Uh, this also tells the main activity to um, launch. So right when our icon is clicked on, it's going to launch whatever uh, activity is right here, the main one. So that's kind of just a quick intro um, of the manifest. And I'm just going to quickly show you guys how to import uh, import a uh, like a background or such and if you guys um, are using Windows I just recommend paint or something simple because it's gonna be a simple background um, I'd also suggest GIMP if if you guys don't have any kind of graphical um, or like paint uh, program or something like that and we're just gonna create a new one and you know as for now the width and height doesn't really matter just because I'm showing you the kind of the concepts here but uh, we're gonna type in like 320 by uh, 485 or 480 and this is gonna give us kind of a general layout um, of our, our phone background um, and I'm just gonna quickly just make a uh, just a background it's not not uh, that sweet or anything but so I'm just gonna create a quick new layer here um, with transparent background and just paste paste our little logo there that's just gonna be a nice clean background and I'm gonna save this into wherever our uh, project was located so I'm gonna hit save as and I saved it in my documents um, we're gonna get a little more specific 
the basic series we're going to open that up go into the resources and uh, these are your different density um, so this is going to be high density low density and medium density for for different phones when you're running on them so I'm going to go into the high density and just hit um, background I'm going to save it as background one and you want to make sure when you save all of your resources they need to be all lowercase no crazy symbols otherwise you can get all sorts of errors so just keep that in mind anytime you save an image uh, audio file anything pretty much um, we're gonna save it as a PNG and hit save and merge and now when we open up uh, clips you'll see it's not located in there yet and all we need to do is go up to project clean and hit OK and you can see it is now located within our drawable folder uh, background one and if you guys got a ton of errors after after you uh, cleaned your project most likely this is not all lowercase um, and it gave you some sort of error where it deleted your R folder or your R Java if that happened you want to rename it clean your project again and make sure your Java doesn't have that import android.r if it does just select that import and delete it um, and that's the end of this tutorial thanks again for watching please subscribe thumbs up and all that good stuff peace homies